Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Wario World! Last time, we tackled Mirror Mansion and showed why we hated the Son of the Mask. In this episode, we're going to be tackling the final regular stage in the game, Pecan Sands, with our final to-do list, which is the same as them all. Now, Pecan Sands is where the most annoying spritling missions are. By far, this is one of the most annoying levels in the game. First things first, though, we're going to be finding ourselves a regular enemy. We're going to be grabbing him, and we're going to be using him. Oops. There we go. So, red chest. And looks like we got an armband. If you couldn't tell, this is the Egyptian theme. That kind of makes sense. All right, so, we have these things again. We're only going to have two more of them inside the game, and then we're done. All right, so, we're going to grab you and pile drive. Wait, what the? How did I stop? What the heck happened? I stopped. I... That's never happened to me before. Okay, so what must have happened was I must have hit his projectiles in the air. But I guess it might have counted as another hit. So, I'm going to take you with me. Because guess what your purpose is? Hit this button. All right. And there should be this way. To deal with those ones, you're going to have to ground pound on them. Be careful where you ground pound in this stage, though, because it acts like snow, and if you do, then you'll end up getting trapped. Now, one thing that this stage is also pretty known for is that there's a lot of slowdown that happens in this stage, because there's a lot going on. Right, so that's another one right there. Let's go up over this way and continue on our Medi quest. Three treasures already, and we're probably not even two minutes in, but we have our second one of these guys. Right, no. Need. Stop blocking! Stop! Stop! There we go. Gonna grab you and pile drive. I'm gonna pile drive you. Oh no, my enemy! Get over here. Pile drive. Right, and... God dang it. Stop blocking. Punch. I will take you with me. And goodbye. And that's the last one of these guys we're going to have to deal with in the entire game, ladies and gentlemen. I know. It's been a long time coming. But just like how we had to deal with in the ever so lovely Beanstalk way, we're going to have another type of, I guess, what I call it. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, sort of. First things first, though. Ground pound right here. Completely missed your mark. Go me. This is one of the only time. This stage in particular inside Warrior World is the only one to where they hide some of the spritelings in unique ways. One of them is right here. Right here. <laughs> oh boy. The big scorpers are so annoying when they burrow in the sand. I hate those things. I know, I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. Use a ground pound move to force them out, which I already explained. But what I mean is, this is really one of the only stages in Warrior World to where they hide the Spritelings in a unique way. I was supposed to do that, and... More? I realized what I was doing, so now let's hit this one. We'll come down. And now let's get the red diamond that's here. So, first red diamond. And one of the last ones, so we're out of here. So that deals with that. But we're not done here just yet, because we got another one right here. Now, the interesting thing about the stages, most stages in this game have been entirely linear. For this one, we're actually going to just be going up. And this looks like a doozy, doesn't it? Congratulations, you solved it. Never hit any other block. You will screw up the puzzle so royally, it's not even funny. Stone Cold statues in the front of the ladder is made up of three blocks that contain its eyes, nose, and mouth, and a weak spot. To destroy it, strike its weak spot and topple all of its blocks. Crash. Down it goes. Uh, that's hinting at another enemy in which we're going to have to be dealing with. But we're also coming close to the end of grabbing all the Spritelings. This is the last level to where you will get all the Spritelings. And the last Spriteling in the game will tell you how many total ones we will have. So, now that we're done with that, there should be, I think, a 
But here is a chest. Just a chest, okay. So, going up. And ignoring all them. Now this should be... You could hear a gold piece, and I know where it is too, which annoys me, but I can't grab it. For now I'm gonna... Ow! Jeez! Ow! Jeez! Ow! Jeez! Guess what? You die! Here we go. And... Grab you, break everything, and then grab my beautiful face. Because I'm gonna go down here to another one of them, and look who it is! It's one of our bosses from the first part of the game. Yet, yeah, a regular enemy at that. Kind of odd. You don't get anything from killing him either, you think you would. Now, this right here is annoying. Because of what you have to do to get this red diamond. What I'm going to do is completely the wrong way of doing it, but still gives me a chance of getting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to push. Uh, oh, okay. nope. Let's get this one over this way. Punch. And there, and punch. Perfect. Alright, so, first attempt. Down we go. Dang it. You're supposed to create a platform to be able to go over everything. The annoying part about this stage is the fact that it doesn't really work too well, I will admit. I have tried so many times, and usually what I end up doing is this. But if you go too high, then you will end up resetting the stage, which is what I'm going to be doing for this one. So I'm going to cut ahead until I do this and grab the red diamond because this one is annoying. Got it. That's not how you're supposed to do it, I know, but it's annoying. If you could not tell, that was actually one of the two I was talking about that I really hate because that could actually take a long time if you're not careful. So what I'm going to do right now is Shovels, drop, and completely throw them in the wrong direction. Thank you, and you will go right there. There we go. Now you bring me back up. Which, there's a gold piece. There's a gold piece. Oh, I can't grab it. Fine, I will ignore it for right now. So we're going to hit that. I think I missed a button, though. I think that the green button was over here. Now... Pecan Sands is also the level in which I end up forgetting a lot of things for it because it's very easy to mess things up. Uh, again. Up. No, I said we're going to go up. There we go. That's what we needed to do. I believe that the button is actually down here, if I remember correctly. Oh, there's a blue button. So, I was right, there is a button down here. It's not the button that we need. And I think there's also one that requires it. All right, so you're coming with me, my beautiful face, because I need you to open this door. Down we go. And is this the other annoying one? Yep, it is. Meet my most hated one in this game for getting a red diamond. This right here, because of the slope detection, will kill you more often than not. This is my most hated one in the entire game, by far. I will not lie, in practice, this took me about 20 minutes to do correctly, because part of me was impatient, the other part was getting annoyed. And it's mostly because of the last platform right here, because the last platform moves extremely fast if you're not careful. The other issue is this platform right here and the spike balls, if you're not careful. So it's going to go down on this way, and... All right, so... Let's do this! Okay, that was not supposed to happen that way. Whew! 20 minutes in practice! That was like, what, my second try? God dang, LP, blessing and curse! I mean, I'm not complaining too much, but... Ah, uh, God. Now, where's the green button? I think I passed it by accident. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta go back. No. 
Stop pushing me up that way. Fine. You're annoying me. Was it? There's the green button. And, hi guys! Did you miss me? I know I missed you. I mean, we only saw each other, what, like, ten minutes ago? Uh, based on recording-wise, anyway. No. No. Say goodbye to these guys, too. This is the last time we're going to be seeing them. Thank God. Watch his eyes. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Press. Nope. Nope. Yeah, there it is. And up we go. All right, so not dealing with those guys anymore. There's the green button. Right, there we go. So now let's go back to the other side and grab the green treasure. So, up. And then we're going to go and grab that red diamond that's inside there. Mine. Oh, a pyramid. How thematic. We're climbing up here. Ah. Now, you might get the idea, ooh, you know, some of these slopes, if I can grab them, I can sequence break a lot in this level. No, because a lot of the places inside this level, they decided to program it that you can't grab onto those ledges and they have invisible walls. Because aren't we going to be dicks? Right? Either way, though, let's grab our diamond. And... How do I get to this? Oh, the Spriteling's on the bottom, duh. Okay. Right? It goes without saying that the laser used by the laser Jigglefish is dangerous. Jigglefish. Is that a play on jizzle, Jiggle Physics? If so, why doesn't Wario jiggle? Alright, it's all muscle. Try circling it, then dropping from above. Or just wait for it to shoot its laser and then butt smash it. You, know, you don't need to make things so cryptic. But, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go over this way. Ooh. Ooh. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I skipped the stupid thing. Right, and there we go. Grab that gold piece right there. And time for the last of these fighting sequences that is inside this game, actually. So, let's go off with style. I'm surprisingly not beaten that many enemies in this game as I would have thought I would have by the end of it. In my practice file, I've beaten, like, 3,000. And again, part of me is literally just going around picking fights. So, who's the real monster here? The monsters? Oh, wow. Well, obviously the monsters. Wario's an anti-hero. And third one. Grab you. And meet your friend. And here are the Jigglefish. Wait for them to shoot their lasers like that. Butt smash. And there we go. Ah, dang it. I was only able to kill one jigglefish, it looks like. Ah, dang it. I didn't pile drive it. So it gave me a thing of 1.8. All right, so let's continue on by going up here and freeing the sprite link because it's annoying me. The iron cider at the goal up ahead spins around while spewing flames. When flames close in, look for some sand. Use the ground pound to go underground. Huh, I actually did not know that because I ignored that Sprightling's advice. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter because with what I'm gonna do, I will literally just tank hits and kill the boss. Because that's how Wario rolls. Taking the easiest way out by hurting myself. You up. All right, come here, my friend. Now, give me to my diamond! Alright! Now, this one's not as bad. Right. As you can see, things drop. Ow! Fred! Alright, let's try that again. You can actually jump over the first one if you're uh, timing it right. Alright. All right, there we go. And here's the diamond. And let's grab onto here. And let's see if this goes better than how I did in my practice. Looks like it's already going way better in, than in my practice. In my practice, what ended up happening was I was grabbing onto the edge of the clouds, having to quickly pull up and then leave. It was very bad, and it was my fault entirely. 
But there we go. That deals with that. So let us now go up as we're already almost done with this stage. Believe it or not. Yeah, this isn't a very long stage. I'm gonna jump over this so then they leave me alone. And there we go. There's another treasure. An Anubis statue. <laughs> You're falling down. Okay, going up now over here because there is another one of the red diamond areas. Right here. So let's see what this one is. Ah, oh, this one. Ah, oh, this one's also annoying because you're gonna have to quickly corkscrew conk and hit a switch right there. Which is annoying because they have it that there's a gap right here. So you have to quickly jump on the cloud, dash, and then corkscrew conk. Like so. This is another one that takes a while. This is where they just decided, hey, let's be a dick. L let's just be a dick in these stages, which is not very good design, if you ask me. So I'm going to cut until I do this one correctly, because this took me a while. Two. Oh, there we go. Managed to do it. Ow. But we have ourselves another gold piece. And now let's go and get the red diamond that's here. So, what we're gonna have to do is go over this way. Right here. And, but smash. There we go. And let's get the heck out of here. Towards the top of the stage. All right, let's not fall down because if I fall down, then I have to backtrack and I'd rather not backtrack. Because believe it or not, every time I go through one of those, I'd have to fight something else, which would be annoying. Right, and I'm gonna actually use the ball defender. Hey look! The flying enemies are back! We actually haven't I don't think about it, this is the first time we see them inside the stage. So grab another one right here. And there we go. So let's now get this. And go underneath the pyramid right here for another piece of gold. There should only be one left in for the entire game, and we're gonna be coming up to it soon. Okay, garlic. A little bit of slowdown there, too. Now, uh, we have our other switch right here. Hit you. Grab this. And get ourselves into here. You know what they say? Seventh time's a charm. And by you know what they say, I mean, Roxas, you're just saying that because you are just very, very, very bad at this game for this section. But either way, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last of the red diamond stages in the game. This is the last one in which we're going to be getting a red diamond, as well as the final Spriteling. We're still missing two pieces of gold, one of which I know where it is. The other one I ended up skipping, so I think I know where it is. But for right now, let's go through this maze, do Leap of Faith right there, which I despise. I'm a person who hates doing leaps of faith inside games, which is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of Mirror's Edge. I have it, I've played it, it's an okay game. I just, playing platformers so long, doing leap of faith is never a good thing for me. Right, but in the meantime, let's climb up here, punch Ooh, garlic. Right, and don't go left, go right on this one because it will be easier. You can do the camera to save you on that one. I don't recommend too much, though, so let's move slowly. And jump. Jump. Now we're going to jump down here. I didn't know if there was anything down there or not. I was kind of worried. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the last Spriteling inside the game. So let's jump down. And free him. I'm the last Spriteling prisoner. There are 40 of us all together, you know. How many did you save? Well, I saved all 40, ladies and gentlemen, so I have actually been guaranteed the best ending. Even if I don't get all the treasure, I have been guaranteed the best ending by freeing all the Spritelings in the game. So, let us leave. But we're not done yet. There should be a gold piece right around here, if I remember correctly. There's the gold piece that's right here, but we still have one more that's left inside the game. And where is it? Uh, it's not right here. I actually passed it. 
I need to remember how exactly to get to it. Where is it? That's still the end. That's the end of the stage right there. So it's over this way. It's always one that I know that there's another way that you're supposed to get to it, which isn't right here. Where is it? Down here, I think. Yes, it's right over here. So, there we go. That is all the gold pieces in the game, which means we now have completed all of our uh, health upgrades. Right, now I'm going to oh, use that to skip you because I don't want to deal with you. Nope, I did it beforehand. I'm doing it again. So I'm going to cut back to the top of the... Well, no, I can just keep this in because it's. I'm just going to be running to it. Pretty much now we are done with all of our health upgrades. We are also now fully done with all of the dark crystals, or as I call them, the red diamonds, as well as all the spritelings. All that remains are the final two treasures of the game, which are at the top of this pyramid right here. So we're just about done with this level, and we're just about done with this game, ladies and gentlemen. I know, it went by rather quickly, and that's because Wario World is a very short game. And right now, the game's trying to artificially lengthen itself by slowing down. Slow down. No, I don't want to slow down. But, of course, before we can get to the top of the pyramid, we gotta deal with shovels that shoot electricity. Which are annoying. Ow. You. Me. And Dupree. Punch, punch. Punch. That was not supposed to happen, and now I gotta hurry before this guy decides to disappear. And... No! 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 There we go. I'm not being denied this. So, let's get the last two treasures in the game, which are a Nintendo GameCube... Eh? Eh? And the final treasure in the game. The sarcophagus, the pharaoh's crown. I forget what it's officially called. But this is the first time we're going to have to fight one of these things. Ironically enough, this is the last time we have to fight this thing, too. Because I skip the other one every single time. Pretty easy to do. Uh, just keep punching it until it blows up. Causes a massive amount of slowdown. Which is something that this game is really not doing too good on me for right now, is with all the slowdown. But, let's punch that, and there we go. With that, that is the last regular enemy of this game. So, let's buy some garlic, because I'm just going to be taking some hits on this boss. There we go. Goodbye, garlic vendor. I've used you a few times in this game, but that's been about it. So, let's now finish this up. Dude. 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 And there we go. So, let's go and fight our last stage boss. Oh, are we going to play some chess? No? Okay. Instead, I'm just going to keep pile driving him. Yep, all this boss really is, all you have to do is just pile drive him with his own hands. Ow! The annoying part can be when you accidentally get hit, though. But these hands get taken down pretty easily. Like so. If I can run faster. No! Uh, not doing it. <laughs> Take that. And he only has two hits now. Goodbye. And one more hit, and he's done. Nope, don't destroy my hands, please. And good night. And there we go. That's the last stage boss of the game. Which is very pathetic, actually. So, that takes care of the last regular stage of Wario World. And there we go. We are done. So, beefy Wario, I'm so muscular. 
and our last completed hot. So Wario has eight hots in his body. Somebody should tell him that is a very, very serious thing. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to be tackling the finale of Let's Play Wario World. See you guys then.